needed to go a little bit deeper into the history of our educational system. So I met with Professor Herb Titus, who graduated cum laude from Harvard Law School, was the dean of two law schools, and is a constitutional scholar. He wanted to show me some little known facts about the university to help bring all of this into focus. Coming up here to the uh, main gate into the Harvard Yard, right? and uh, you might look at this plaque here. After God had carried us safe to New England, and we had builded our houses, provided necessaries, ne necess necessary. necessaries <laughs> for our livelihood, reared convenient places for God's worship, and settled the civil government. Now let's look at that for a minute. We oftentimes hear about separation of church and state, as if the church has to be isolated from the affairs of the civil government. This says just the opposite. It says that if you're going to have a civil government that has justice and law, it has to be based upon a moral foundation which comes from the church. At Harvard University, it says this, on the wall. That's right. And it's, it's behind a tree and a fire hydrant. <laughs> you know, what, what does that say? As a matter of fact, the motto of Harvard in the beginning was Christ and the church. Christ and the church. Christ and the church. And then later was Christ and the church and truth. Do you know what the motto is today? What is it? Truth. <laughs>